Well, hello there. I'm Kate Bendewald, interior designer and owner of Designers Oasis, a resource hub for interior design business owners. Now, if you've spent so much as five minutes with me, you know that I am all about really tightened up systems as well as rely on automation to run the administrative side of my business. The truth is, I have a really hands-on approach to working with my clients and Dubsado gives me more free time to be able to do that and it also gives my clients a really seamless integrated experience interacting with my business. And so this is my go-to tool and it helps me handle invoices, setting proposals, client agreements, and questionnaires. And it's all in one and they are all talk to each other and are related. So for example, when a client receives my proposal, they are able to accept the proposal, which automatically takes them to the agreement where they can read and sign and date. And once they click that final button, they're taken to the invoice for the retainer where they can button up the whole contract. And what makes this great is that they don't have to get a bunch of random emails. They're all focused on it at one time. And this way it's much quicker for them. And I know my clients appreciate that. So let's dive into some of the features of Dubsado. And at the end, I will share with you a code that you can use to get 20% off right now. Should you decide Dubsado is a good fit for you and your interior design business? So I have created an example account to show you kind of how mine is set up. So you're not looking at my um, personal uh, business details, but you get to see exactly what it looks like on the inside once you've subscribed. So the very first screen that we're looking at here is the dashboard. And this is gonna give you a bird's eye view of your business and your income. Of course, Dubsado syncs with QuickBooks, and this way you can make sure that all of your financial systems are talking to one another and it's all automated for you. The other thing is that Dubsado can link with your calendar so that you can make sure that your clients are scheduling with you during windows that you have actually available. Now, like I said, I have unsynced my calendar with this because it is a trial and just a, a, an example um, account, but should you link it to your calendar, then your events would be in here. And Dubsado knows that you, somebody can't book a discovery call with you, for example, because you're taking your kids to gymnastics or whatever the case may be. So under the projects tab, this is where you will spend a lot of time because you're going to be able to get uh, an overview of all of your projects and your leads and where they are in the pipeline. And I don't know about you, but for me, a lot of times I get a lot of calls at once and sometimes it's hard keeping track of who is where in the pipeline. So this helps us keep all of our clients organized, whether they're just a lead or if they've turned into an actual job. So you'll see that these are categorized by these two groups, jobs and leads. And you can customize all of this. So you can see that I've customized this for myself. Anybody who has booked a discovery call with me is going to show up in this category. Anybody who's booked an in-home consultation with me is going to show up here. After that consultation date has come and gone, then Dubsado is smart enough to know that it's going to automatically move this client or this prospective client into waiting on proposal, which reminds me, I've got to get Lady Gaga a proposal for her Hamptons beach house. Once the proposal is sent, they will move over here. And remember, you can customize this for exactly your business and how it works. Once they have confirmed with you, then they turn into a job. And here I have my jobs categorized with the three different types of services that I provide. Full service, designer for a day, and e-design. Next, I want to give you a little insight into how Dubsado is built. It's really built on templates. And these are all the different types of templates that are available. The scheduler, uh, which syncs with your calendar, gives you the ability to add scheduling options for different types of events. So for example, let's say you need to book a site survey with your client and you want to give your client you know, two or three options to choose from. You can set that up here and you know that that's going to be a longer uh, event versus a trade day versus your client interview versus your discovery call. So you can customize all of the details right here. Forms is where you will set up all of your contracts, your questionnaires, your proposals, and of course your lead capture tool here. 
What the lead capture works really well to do is essentially this discovery call form is provided in uh, on my website. So once they fill in their information, then the client's details are all automatically added to Dubsado. So I'm not having to manually enter that information into my program. Of course, all of these proposals, contracts, questionnaires, et cetera, can all be customized. So if I'm going to send a client a full service interior design proposal, and remember, you can customize everything with your logo and your branding even down to the font and the colors. Um, before you actually send it to a client, you will have the ability to customize everything. So the pricing, uh, the timeline, anything that is important to you, you can customize once it's in the client portal. And remember, right here, we're just looking at the template. So this template would get applied to the project and we would customize it from there. I want to go back to the templates for a minute and show you that, that you can have multiple types of contracts. So here, if a client decides that they want to do an e-design project with you, then what you're going to send them the e-design proposal. And when they get taken to the contract, you're going to have already told Dubsado when they get this e-design proposal, they need to get this e-design client agreement with it. So this way, the whole thing kind of talks to each other and works together. The other really uh, great part of Dubsado that I love are the canned emails. So this way you don't have to retype emails every single time. You have all of the language ready to go and all you have to do is plug it into your um, templates, your scheduler or other workflows. Packages is where you're gonna set up the different kinds of packages that you offer. And these are again going to speak to your proposals in the forms. So let's say that you are giving your client different options. You may add the different packages to your proposals. Finally, workflows are a really key feature of Dubsado. So the workflows is how your system gets automated. So once you have set up your different schedulers, your different proposals, your different client emails are all ready to go and your packages are ready to go, once that's set up, then you're going to set up your workflow. And this is the part that puts basically your business on autopilot. Uh, I think the important thing to remember is that whenever you're starting with Dubsado, it does take a little bit of time and just a minute to get everything set up. But once you do, it's a huge time saver on the other end. And Dubsado has a really great resource library with tutorials on, on how to set things up. One more thing I want to show you before we move on to the client portals is the template libraries. So what I love is you don't have to start from scratch. You can look at the template library and find templates that make sense for what you're trying to do. And then you can customize them for exactly what it is that you need. Before we wrap up, I want to show you the inside of the client project portals. Now, remember, this is an example account. So it's going to look kind of bare at first, but you'll definitely get the picture by getting to see what all is available. So all of your client information is on the left. Here you can set up referral sources. This might say, you know, oh, I found you on Instagram or through a particular Facebook group or word of mouth referral. That way you can track your referral sources. At the top of your client portal, you'll have a series of tabs. And the one that you'll probably start out by using are is the workflows tab. And if you click on here, you can select any of the workflows that you have created so let's say I've already gone through the new client onboarding process with her and she has agreed to work together. So then we're going to apply the full service client workflow. Once you apply this workflow, then you're ready to go. Let's say that you need to send your client a questionnaire. You can, you'll see that this questionnaire is already applied to the uh, project portal. When I applied that workflow, it put it into this client's portal automatically. Before you send it, you can edit it. So you can open it up, make sure that you've got the questions in there that you need. If there's anything that you want to customize, you can change it, add it, that sort of thing. Let's say you're ready to send it. Before you send anything, Dubsado is going to give you a chance to customize your emails. So here you can click and select from any of the 
pre-designed canned emails that you have created and set up. You can select here and add a link for any sort of contract form or questionnaire that you may have created. And right now this is in a blue color, but if your brand color was red or green, you can definitely customize that as well. It also has smart fields so you can put in and um, whatever details about the project that you want. And you have the ability to do this in the email templates as well. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and send it. So I hope you found this useful. If you have questions about the features of Dubsado or how I use it in my business, go ahead and leave a comment below and hopefully I can help you out. And I'm also going to include an affiliate link that you can use to get 20% off should you decide Dubsado is a good fit for your business. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.